Hey everybody, once again I have returned for another reaction to some interesting music. This has been suggested to me today by Virialata, as the Virialita I'm going with. Um, this is the name of the channel anyway. And he's suggested, or they've suggested, I'm not sure if it's a man or a woman, but they've suggested Astor Piazzola with a song called Liber Tango or Liba Tango. And I believe that's the tango style of music. It sounds uh, obvious from the uh, from the name of the song. And also I believe this is a player of the Bandioon, Bandioon, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's, um, apparently it's an accordion that replicates the sound of church music. I think this is what I've gathered from what people have told me. So this is gonna be different for me. It's gonna be interesting. I did hear a bit of Bandioon in, a, I think it was a Spinetta song, or it could have been an invisible song. And, uh, um, I was like, oh, what's that? I couldn't work out if, if it was an accordion or if it was a harmonica. And people were saying, ah, oh, it's a bandioan. I can't even say I can't remember how to say it. Bandioan? Bandoian? Band <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, I think this is what this guy's playing. I've seen one picture of him holding this uh, accordion type thing. Uh, so let's just go straight onto it and uh, check it out because uh, I'm interested to, to hear it. I'm interested to hear it all. <laughs> hear a full song of Bandi Bandod Bandodian Bando Bando uh, Bandodian Bandodian is that what it's called? I don't know. Let's just uh, find the, the find the right video. Right, and let's play. <laughs> because I want to have a chat about it halfway through, I remember. Well, yeah, that's the, the bandy, bandy Odeon. I'll go with Bandy Odeon. Uh, yeah, it's like an accordion, a squeeze box kind of thing. Um, I'm picking up, like, I'm picking up, I, 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 I'm getting some, I'm getting some guitar, like, just like a, it could be a bass gun, boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, like, it's kind of like a repetitive kind of bass kind of beat, and there's a little bit of, you know, drums, you've got the nice little bits like snare hi-hat kind of action going on just nice slowly giving it the tempo but the main instrument is the sounds of the squeeze box the bandodian yeah i think you've got two noises coming from that because you've got the what you got the one noise because it plays does it not play two different like notes at the same time so it'll play one note like constantly like a ooh, kind of background noise and then you you make extra noises with um so it's like you've got like two sounds i think emanating one from the squeezing that produces one sound and another sound Produced by the, because uh, I, I can kind of feel that I can hear like um, a noise, which I'm assuming is the bandi bandodian, and then another noise will also sound I imagine is the bandodian. So I'm assuming like it's these. I'm sure these accordions can make two kind of noises. It, it plays like a tone as well as making a rhythm at the same time. I'm sure that's what these kind of accordions can do. I'm not not. Don't quote me on that because I have never played one in my life. <laughs> I used to. Um, Long when I was a kid, I used to do some uh, with my brother. Mainly, my, it was my brother, but I went, went with him a couple of times. We did some like traditional kind of uh, Morris dancing, English dancing, and uh, someone there had an accordion, a squeeze box, and I'm sure it makes a, a noise on the the in and out, as well as another noise when you're playing the finger in the the buttons. 
So I think I'm picking up both those those kind of noises there. It's um I'm imagining this is what they dance the tango would tango to. This kind of rhythm is the, would be for the tango. I can I can imagine the feet sweeping around as people are spinning around on the dance floor kind of thing. But it, to listen to it, um, there's no singing. Obviously, it doesn't seem like there's going to be any singing. But it's just a, yeah, it's a nice kind of like lively little sort of stuff. And also because it's like a, an instrument that I've not heard a great deal, it's interesting to, to listen to like a new instrument for me, practically. You don't, you know, you don't see the, the squeeze ball, the accordion, hardly ever really, do you? It's more of a folk instrument, isn't it? It's more of like a, a country sort of instrument, like a traditional instrument. Uh, I think quite a lot of countries have got their own version of that kind of squeeze box kind of uh, device. I think they're quite, you know, quite big in Germany, aren't they? I'm, I'm not too sure. And I got a feeling we used them in, in Britain as well. And maybe in America, I get a feeling they might use it in America, like in, you know, the bluegrass, maybe. I'm not too sure, actually. I don't really know. I'm not too familiar with the, the history and uh, usage of the accordion through history or through various music from around the world. But yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. It, it kind of reminds me of what I was thinking, like, the sound, for some reason, I could picture this being like a movie score, like a or a TV show. Like it sounds almost like Mission Impossible. I don't know, just the sort of build up of it. Like I can just picture this being like a, a spy TV show where something's going down and they're like, in, you know, they're they're, they're sneaking into a, a, the evil bad genius's base and they're sneaking around trying not to be found by the enemy. I don't know something about the the, the sound of it. It's almost got like an anticipation kind of uh, sound, like something's going to happen. You know, it's just, I don't know, it's that kind of air. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just the instrument that, maybe the instrument lends itself to that kind of suspense and intrigue. But <laughs> maybe I'm just talking nonsense. Let's just finish up the song. It's not a very long one. Interesting guitar playing there. Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it, was it, is it Charango? Was it a Charango that was playing there? I think that's the name of the instrument. Like the little tiny guitar. But there was some interesting picking going on there. Like going behind. Like it added its own kind of element to the song. I still can't get over thinking that that sounds like it should belong in a spy drama, in some kind of you know spy TV show or spy film. It just had that kind of air of like um, urgency about it somehow. That song. It's like dude, you know, I can just imagine the people like you know running away from you know <laughs> from from bad guys with guns or oh, that music's playing you know just something about the the tone of it maybe the sound of the instrument adds itself or lends itself to that kind of um uh oh, i think i already sort of said this like anticipation that kind of air of um uh danger almost <laughs> i don't know maybe, maybe just my my imagination on that bit there but yeah that was interesting i enjoyed that it was it was like very lively very kind of interesting um i don't know it wasn't so much it was kind of like um wasn't like a, a mellow rhythm it kind of was mellow but it was it, something about the do 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 it made it sound like energetic you know like not quite like dance you know so i'm making this tango you can spin around do the tango to it but tango is like a slower kind of more beautiful dance isn't it i think where you're kind of like gliding gracefully like in circles and all that kind of stuff it's not one of the ones that's super fast dance at least i don't think it is but yeah i but I, for some reason i could just the, the the tone of it the rhythm of it it made me think of um i don't know it just made me think of 
uh, not danger or getting away from danger. I don't know. It was like a, a uh, an air of um, oh, uh, trepidation, <laughs> an air of trepidation about it. I don't know why. It's just, it's, maybe it's just the tone of the instruments. It gives it like it's like kind of like um, it's not like a soft, mellow kind of like dreamy kind of. It's more like a dude. It kind of like it, it's got that sort of energy that kind of like keeps you sort of slightly alert. It's got an like alert kind of sound, like it's a, a, a sound that that like perks you up. And uh, you know, if you uh, maybe you don't know, I, I, I can't kind of express it, but it's not. It's not like um, a really laid back where you can just go. It's one of the ones. That's, mm, mm, mm. It's like the energy of it makes you sort of. It kind of it feels like a lively song, a song to be energetic to, you know, a song to. I think it's the band Odeon, the sound of the band Odeon, this that kind of like rhythmic, that lively rhythm that it's got going on. Like I can, you know, feel you kind of like, you know, rather than drifting off to it, more like paying attention because it demands your attention because it's playing that kind of lively kind of do 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 do. But you know, that's just my first impression. I mean, I may be completely that wrong. What do you guys think? Am I am I talking out of my backside again? Um, but yeah, no, that was good fun. I enjoyed that. It was a an interesting track. Um, I thought I heard some strings at one point. Were there some other strings involved in that, or was that done by the Bando Bandodian? I'm sure there was like at one point. I thought I heard like some strings coming, like a little string section. I don't think it was a like guitar. Or a charango, or whatever it was. It sounded like I don't know some cello or something. I thought for a second, unless that was somehow the band Odeon, or maybe it was my imagination. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, that was cool. That was an interesting one to check out. Um, yeah, and a few people have asked me to check out uh, Astor Piaz Piazzola. Um, that one was actually requested by Vivrialita, uh, a channel called Vivrialita. So cheers for that. And uh, if you want to tell me anything about that track tell me anything about my reaction my talking nonsense or my kind of like oh yeah i see what you mean uh, if you've got any of your own comments any other, uh, suggestions leave them down below give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you want to help the channel out there are links down below you can support me if you wish to um if you yeah i, I won't carry on just say cheers and uh, i'll be back tomorrow or as we say in the Spanish-speaking countries of the world, gracias por mira vuelva mañana para otro video. Bye.